Hello everybody, welcome to the second round of the Cross-Platform Cup. This is um, Xbox versus PS4. Just a look box, got an extra team reroll, which is Gnome Slayer for the Xboxes. I can pause it here. So we've got Gnome Slayer with just a look box, Bretonians versus Girdley with Skaven for PS4. Um, let's wait Let's wait until the turn one isn't it? Right, good. He started with a move instead of a block. Good lad. Let's just look at the teams. So we've seen Gnome Slayer's team before. He does have three guard blockers, a tackle blocker, tackle mighty blow, blitzer, pom, tackle blocker, with wrestle. It's fucking stupid, isn't it? Fucking stupid. Um, two mighty blow tackle, guard, dodge, dodge, your hands leader, dirty player. Like, it's okay. I just think... I just think, you know, it, it could have been a lot better than it was. Um, and let's have a look at Girdley's. haven't seen this one before. He's got a bludge step, gutter runner, a wrestle strip dauntless, a wrestle, and a block. Mm, not the most terrifying set of gutter runners you've ever seen. An accurate thrower. Can't get behind that at all. Uh, claw mighty blow, claw mighty blow tackle. Okay, but no panning on. Uh, kick and pro juggernaut. So I I think Muldrips' Skaven team is way better than this. This is uh, obviously match number two on the card. It actually wasn't played, you know, first or second. They, they, they get like kind of matched up by which number they are. So this is the number two one, which was Bleeding Hippie, I believe, who, who, who won despite going lots of men down. Um, so this is going to be the third round is going to be Chorfs versus Skaven, which you've got to hand the advantage of the Chorfs there, I think, in terms of beating them up. But on the other hand, Skaven, he's got no sure hands, uh, Hippie, so if uh, if the Skaven do Skaven things, it's going to be bad times for him, isn't it? And obviously, they could just one turn and win. Um, it's definitely a possibility. Good afternoon, VIP Kurgo. The Brett sounds are the best thing about the team, aren't they? Yeah, he just he just offered up a offered up a gutter runner there, didn't he? And he used a reroll to get him down. I would have rather fielded the thrower on defense and uh, saved a gutter runner. I mean, if I was gonna, you know, if I was that scared of giving somebody up, I would guess I would have let him just hit a claw mighty blow gutter uh, storm burner. They are both console scumbags. No, let's not be mean to anybody, VIP Pedro Jack. They are both console proud, independent console owners who don't need no PC. Oh, I, uh, I've just realised I need to um, add add the uh, thing that stops this stuff. Right. Try to. Uh, I need I need the spoiler, don't I? The, whether there's overtime or not. So if you bear with me, done. <laughs> oh, Fatch! Hello, Fatch. Fatch is the is the number one uh, is the number one biased guy against consoles. Yes, yes. This is, actually isn't cross-platform. It is just called cross-platform. They are. Uh, yeah, you know, everyone is on PC because they have to be. Interestingly, he, he made the he made the blitz with a with a just the tackle guy, uh, you know, just tackle mighty blow rather than piling on, which you know is probably right because if he piled on, he'd have got kind of foul probably wouldn't even with only one reserve. Best to not not give up the piling on guy for no reason. Only three rerolls, so that was pretty big to reroll that. I guess he probably had to because if he didn't, brings an assist, knocks him down, and he's got a lot of pressure on the ball. But still, wouldn't have directly given up the ball. <laughs> oh, fudge. Hello, Ducky. Lucky ducky. Uh, no, no spoilers in chat, by the way, for the Champs Ladder playoffs because I'm, I'm going to do the Champs Ladder playoff game. 
that Ducky had versus Andy Devo after the uh, four console pleb games. <laughs> and not, they're not console plebs. That's, that's a naughty thing to say. Damn you, Fash, for putting it into my head. Um, <laughs> so he, he, did, he, he got the ball surprisingly forward there, didn't he? And uh, let, him, let him base him with a roger. I mean, the rogue isn't so hard to clear with him having Dauntless, but still. I don't like letting the letting the rogue into the into the cage area. That's something that uh, hippie's got to be mindful of. <laughs> oh, Pedro. Yeah, he's got a lot of mighty blow here, hasn't he? So he can get, he can actually get some, if he can get some removals in here. There's a guard in. Easy, easy assist on this, uh, this guy here. Who can then chain out the, who can then chain out the, uh, Roger is probably what I would have done, personally. But I guess he can just block them both down, so it's, it's all right, isn't it? Relying on Dauntless fails, gets the one dice. That was risky, that was risky. I think I think he should have probably done the chain to get him out, or tried to get the Blitz with a Mighty Blow guy in somewhere. Didn't take this block, oh, because he's got sidestep. Mm, still, I would have taken the block. Sidesteps to here, it's all right, isn't it? Oh, wow, re-rolling that. Basically greeting it. Because he's not getting a hit on the ball. Because that was his blitz. And, yeah, wrestle, so what? I guess maybe he's scared of a dirty player foul. But he's just claw mighty blow. Hmm. So like, I, I will probably be critical in this because just because there's no point like saying, oh yes, he did, he did the right thing, is there? The right thing is, you'd expect them to make the right thing all the time. They're both obviously good at Blood Bowl. Um, but <laughs> it's easier to spot the mistakes and like maybe it's where something's a bit suboptimal rather than saying, oh yes, that was, that was right and stuff, you know? Yeah, it will be. It will be soon, Rat and Blood. Uh, Wednesday, I think the first game of PC versus PS4 is. This is just covering the console games here. Hello, you mad. So he lets him get away there, doesn't he? Um, I don't know. I think I maybe sort of blitzed with the uh, Roger just to get him up last turn. I, I don't know why you rolled for the Roger. But uh, I think having a Roger near the ball was pretty important to get him up. <laughs> oh wow, that's brutal wolf bro. <laughs> PC Jimmy's too PC. Gets the foul in. So yeah, I mean that was okay, wasn't it? He made a cage, he fouled the roger. I, th I don't know if you were going to commit to fouling the rogue, I would have maybe he's just caged up more around here and, and got a few more assists. But then I guess you really don't want the ball near the rogue. You don't, you know, you don't want to bank on breaking AV, do you? Yeah, I really hate it, Wolfback. I really hate the 15 second thing. I really hate it. And there's some, some, a few assholes on the air. Uh, on the you know sign out the focus forums were like defending it and it's like it's indefensible it's so stupid yeah exactly it's so stupid and it's just obviously inefficient as well isn't it you shouldn't have to think about every block before you roll the dice you should you should have to you should be able to roll the dice then think for four minutes obviously not have to think for one minute you know if you're gonna make four blocks in a turn you've got to think for a minute before each block 
<laughs> whether you're going to re-roll it or not, rather than just making the blocks. And then maybe on the fourth one, if you fail it, then think for four. It's so dumb, so dumb. Anyway, back to this game. Yeah, absolutely. Well, as somebody said, it, the 15, after the 15 seconds go down on your turn, it should then start eating into your time. Uh, oh, yeah, I haven't sorted that out yet. DP foul, very nice. Not a gym foul, gets the KO. No thick skull for the Roger, feel bad man. <laughs> yeah, after the 15 goes down, it should just start in your turn time. That's what. That's obviously what it should be. Maybe it will if they bring out Chaos Edition eventually. That is no, long, no longer a thing in the... Just due to... Due to several videos getting demonetized on YouTube, I thought I should try to stop doing that. Ah, oh, hello, Jelly. Safe moves first. I, did, I wasn't watching. I wasn't watching on that turn. Um, so he's going to reverse jump, reverse, switch in the middle, which is a good idea. I mean, I would have gone more down the middle the last turn. But, uh... Yeah, he's, he's, got, he's, got to, he's got to switch around this time, hasn't he? Because it gave him more options going the last turn. Middle... Four removals, pretty good. I mean, it is Skaven, so you've got to expect to be down some players. So now he gets the Pom. Blitz on this one. Wow, so he's left it a bit open here, hasn't he? Oh, JM3. Uh, it doesn't wolf back. It's just literally... Tabletop's a mess. Games last for fucking four hours instead of, instead of an hour and a half. Just because assholes take forever. So he's showed up a little bit, but he can, he's also, on the other hand, he's given the... the Hit here, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. GFI, GFI. He can go for a one dice on the ball if he wants. He's content to just uh, hit a peasant. And gonna, he's confident of stopping the score with only six players or seven players left. Six players. I think I would have gone for the one dice on the ball. Maybe he didn't see it. <laughs> Oh what also happens in the tabletop as well is not only does the game last four hours also people forget which turn it is because there's no legal procedure rule and it's uh, it's horrific yes games last forever I don't know if you've seen like the likes of Andy Devo play where he takes four minutes a turn when there's a four minute turn limit there's no time limit in Blood Bowl games so people take turns that last 10, 15 minutes. It's a nightmare. Yeah, there's a time limit for the round, but not per player. So, it's it's just as bad as 40k. It's horrible. And then you have assholes who have, see, I'm trying not to swear here, who take, you know, three or four times as much money as me. Th three or four times. People take three or four times as much time as me. And then, oh... Oh, there's, there's, there's time on the round. Or, or we're coming up to time on the round. There's only half an hour. And then they say to me, can you play a bit faster? And I'm like, go fuck yourself. You're the one who should have been playing faster. You know, asking me to play faster. Like, what the fuck, man? Oh, it pisses me off. People should just, you know, there should be chess clocks. There should absolutely be chess clocks. 100%. Uh, don't, don't get me started on tabletop. It's, it's horrible. Absolutely horrible. That was a good move down this side, wasn't it? I mean, he couldn't. I don't think he could really hope to stop it. Is he going to go for some dodge through here to try and one dice it? Yeah, he's going to try and two dice it. Fair enough. I guess it wasn't really so hard, was it, to run around? Obviously, not going to tackle there. Oh, double one the GFI and KO. It's a bit unlucky. A bit unlucky that, isn't it? Because, you know, to say he had such a man advantage, he still gave up two dice on the ball on the last turn. <laughs> That's pretty bad.
I think I would have pushed him there and got another three dice on him. I mean, I think it would have been worth it in terms of the rest of the game. Three dice on a gutter. There you go, that was a bit of a dodgy drive, wasn't it? Uh, giving up the... Uh, giving up the two dice on the ball on the turn eight was pretty bad considering how few players he had. But, uh, yeah, yeah, um, you know, but just it's just, you know, like, end zone's the same, you know, end zone's the same. End zone, end zone takes a lot of time because it, it's allowed and it's just it's just horrible. It's just horrible in tabletop. At least this, you've got a four minute time limit. There's no time limit in tabletop because oh no, we've got to be lovely and nice to everybody. We won't have the turn. We won't have the uh, what's it called the legal procedure rule, and we won't have the four minute time limit either, which is just fucking dumb. Hate that. I hate. I hate that about tabletop. I fucking hate it. Everybody should have. We should have chess clocks, and we should have um, illegal procedure rules as well. 100%. Every tabletop tournament should be enforced. That there has to be. It shouldn't be sanctioned without chess clocks and without the illegal procedure rule, in my opinion. <laughs> right. He's, so he's got the... Uh, so he chooses to make an additional push, which I don't. I never like the whole, the whole method. Um, but I guess it was pretty hard to not have to do that here. So yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. It was a good setup to stop him making him do that. Exactly. Exactly. Why not have it at top turn? Why not have it in tournaments? It's so dumb, isn't it? Mini Leviathan, exactly. It's so stupid. It's so stupid that it's not in tournaments. Because you could have it, you know, it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> That's good, good. <laughs> Right, so yeah, it it was it was hard it was hard to get the make the 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 simple push there I think. Oh no, I guess you could have just blocked one of these out, couldn't you? Could have blocked one of these out. Yeah, it was a bad setup. Okay, you could have blocked a peasant, and then uh, blitz round. Probably he probably should have he probably should have done it so that he only needed two pushes instead of making himself need three pushes. Especially with sidestep. Yeah. Sorry, Fash. <laughs> no jelly. Yeah. yeah, I would I might I might play in tournaments anyway. I mean I've played in a few tournaments over the years. But um Yeah, mostly most games workshop tournaments are a terrible idea, seeing as they're not meant to be competitive and then people making competitive scenes for them, it's usually usually bad. So how many players has he got? Nine? Nine isn't bad, is it? For Skaven. I don't, I don't like the pro. <laughs> the pro joke. What? Greeting, greeting, I guess there's only one in 36 chance of it failing. It's, uh, Games Workshop. Games Workshop is absolutely that bad. You can see the games. The games aren't. Yeah, I always do bad in the first game of the day in Pre Augustus. So. Just at tournaments, CJ Blackburn. Only at tournaments. People in leagues. People playing tabletop in leagues is absolutely fine, isn't it? Play every week. I mean, unless you're playing tabletop tournaments every week. You know. 
did it anyway. Flash with the angry paint pick. <laughs> <laughs> From a competitive, yeah, it's fun and it's it's and stuff, yeah, but it's not it's not good. It's not good from a competitive standpoint. The timing is terrible. Like it's always fun because you're playing blood ball and stuff. You know, don't get me wrong, but the uh, it's just that the the timing is always a nightmare. There's always somebody saying time on the round and there's always somebody who's holding up the tournament for everybody else there's always somebody who's taking a million turns for a game there's always somebody who's forgetting which turn they're every they're on because they don't have a legal procedure it happens every every tournament i've never been it hasn't always happened to me personally but there's always stuff like that at every tournament of course there is wow starting his turn with a dodge i guess there's no safe moves Maybe the gutters, but they probably want to do stuff later. Is he just going to go for a touchdown here? Looks like it with that move to start. Interception. No, he's too fast. Should have done that move first, shouldn't he? Could have done a safe move first. Maybe. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I'm always getting drunk in tabletop tournaments. I mean, I've never, I've never really taken them seriously apart from the the team, the UK team championships is the only one I took seriously because I didn't want to let down my teammates. Whereas all the other ones I've just got hammered. Yep. Yeah, don't look at this, I, uh... <laughs> That's good styles. <laughs> um, yeah, don't look at this, I played in a 40k tournament. I, the, when I stopped playing 40k tournaments is because my opponent deli deliberately dragged out the game. He argued about things that he was wrong about. Um, I called the judges over because I knew I was right. He still continued to argue after the judges had ruled against him, which took more and more and more time. And then they called time on the round, even though all I had to do was roll some dice. And as we were arguing about it, as I was, as we were argue, as I was arguing with the people running the tournament, I, I rolled the dice and I said, look, he's dead. So don't tell me there's no time to finish it, because I've just finished it. Yeah, fair enough, CJ Bob, and fair enough, but I don't know, I just think... Yeah, say it then. Say then, uh, with 30 minutes left on the round, chess clocks are mandatory or whatever. But even then, that's unfair, because in, if, the, if the match round is two hours, and one person's taken an hour and a half, and the other's taken half an hour, then they get equal time at the end. That's unfair, isn't it, as well? So, I don't know. Yep, same with the Kelly. Anyway, a bit of a tangent here. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I have only had it hap only had that happen once. But just in general, the timings are the timings are, are a real problem with it. And the, you know, I've I've, I've seen people and I've played people where I've had to take I've had to monitor the turn for both people, and it's not fun, is it? <laughs> I guess that's good then. Thanks, little bars. <laughs> Four, six, nine, nine players. That's not so bad. But it's just having to take the palm and mighty blow hits every turn. Sucks, doesn't it? Ah, he's done the old. He's rushing forward all make or break now with the gutters. I, I think that's the right play. With three rerolls left, second half, 1-1, one, one. He's, he's pretty much got to win this 2-1. 
Like he's got to turn him over here, hasn't he? He's not gonna. He's not gonna. He can't take an overtime win, I don't think. With him still having a reserve and likely to make more injuries with dirty player and mighty blow. It is indeed a jugs pro rat ogre. Not a fan of that. But I mean, this is easy cage around here, isn't it? With easy clear here, and even the dirty player for him as well. I don't think he made enough pressure. Strand Roger maybe. Yeah, pro knock claw, yeah. Can't say I'm a fan of that. Especially when you've got jugs. This claw's awesome. No boxing. On only one time did it end in fist fights. <laughs> Oh, he was hitting the roger, that's why I thought he was just going to hit this guy, but okay, he wanted to knock down the roger, fair enough. He doesn't even have piling on on the storm of anymore, you know. I think Mull's, Mull's team is way better than this. Oh, wild animal with a pro! <laughs> that's why he went pro. What a clever dingo. We all thought he was he was a bit of a madman for taking pro, but it came off when he stood up. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I don't think he's really doing enough, is he? He went forward with everybody, now he's gone back with everybody. Probably, it's tempting to go here and get the claw guy, but then if you go here, you can make this safer. Oh, he uses that hole, fair enough. He wants to push down a bit further. Fair enough, wanting to push down a bit faster, I guess. He is. This is a bit risky, isn't it? One in nine. Well, Simon, I wouldn't be taking Claw instead of Juggernaut. I'd be taking Claw instead of Pro. So. I just think if you're going to have a Juggernaut, if you're going to have a Roger, you might as well have Claw on it. It's, it it's, he's got a double. You know, if, you, if you're going to take a roger, why not take it to have the third claw? I don't see the point in him taking it at all. Yeah. So kind of exactly as Mellow Gold says, why even take him? He's not really a surfing... A strength five frenzy doesn't really have a big surfing potential, just because... Unless you're playing people who are shit. <laughs> Basically... <laughs> Dauntless work, but it was still red dice, and he got power. He got KO'd. Well, the chance of that happening, Simon, is unlikely. But he, as I say, I wasn't against Juggernaut. I wasn't against Juggernaut. I was against the pro. <laughs> That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs> That isn't a thing. I'm just literally saying here. He's got he's got pro and juggernaut, and I would have gone claw and juggernaut. <laughs> and yeah, in this format, they probably won't have stand firm. Yeah. Yeah, necro with with a uh, necro with uh, two fleshies and uh, wolfian. Yeah, exactly. Exactly as clangers. Yeah, when 
I never said wouldn't have taken Juggernaut on it. Um, maybe take Block on it. You know, maybe fucking take Block. Maybe take Block instead of... Uh... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um... So... Yeah. I'm thinking all rogue, but I think if you do, you'd go block, not fucking pro. I mean, well, you know, like block instead of juggernaut and pro, or claw instead of the pro. I don't hate juggernaut, but yeah, he hasn't really done a lot as he could be here. Also, giving up a guard to give. To give your ogre doubles. I could have just given him just Juggernaut. Yeah. Mole went with a deep bench and no no rogue. I, I like moles. I like moles team a lot more than this team. TBH. But then, on the other hand, a rogue could just could have just torn through this Bretonian team, couldn't it? So. You know, just because it's roll crap doesn't make it wrong, does it? He's just got a better team than this, Jello. Yeah, I think deep bench and dirty players, it's just harder to do it in Chance Ladder because it's hard to maintain the bench. Indeed, Adon Kellis, yeah. No one wants to get their fleshies and wolves or ghouls banged on yet, yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Well. Hello, Calcium. Uh, I mean, I don't know, I think, you know, the Brett's made a lot of removals, but I don't, the, the, the Skaven coach didn't impress me at all. Um, I thought he was probably too passive. Didn't really do a whole lot, and then Gnome Slayer did expose the ball a bit, didn't he? Despite having a man advantage in the first half, wasn't great, but a scrappy affair. A scrappy affair. But, uh, I guess deserved for Xbox. He's not making that mistake again, is he? <laughs> Packed in tight with guard in the right place. I don't think anyone's played a perfect game of Blood Bowl Clan Fox. <laughs> I think nobody in the history of Blood Bowl has played a perfect game of Blood Bowl. So. No, I couldn't play Fortnite. It just looks disgusting. Couldn't play it because of how it... How it looks. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, full perfect game, yeah. Alright, fair enough. And, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess a full game, yeah, fair enough. Because you could, you could do a, a good turn one and then they could concede and stuff like this. So there you go. I guess I guess a deserved win for Xbox there, wasn't it? Who who would have thought that after the first after the first five nil drubbing? Um. <laughs> yeah. So uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.